Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the track career mode. This is episode number 10 and today we have two more classics on our way. We have Dwarves Dur Van Lederen, oh my god, sorry. Another Belgium classic with cobbles and a bit of heels. You know who is our guy of course, Jasper Steven. We'll be trying to win it with him. And then for the second race, it's the Ron Van Vladeren, another Belgium classic. And this one is an objective for us, so we need to be careful because the objective is to be at first place. So we need to win this race and once again, you know, it's Jasper Steven that's going to lead our team in this race. So yeah, two classics today. I'm, it's going to be short with just two, two classics. And yeah, let's try to, to win both of them. But before that, since it's the 1st of April, the first day of another month, let's go through the, the classifications of the World Tour. As we can see right here, we got the Tenjo Nibali at the second position behind Jakob Fugelsang. Right now, Fugelsang is the best rider in the World Tour. We got Jasper Steven at 5th and Edward Tunes at 10 and Nico Zeg at 13. So overall our team is pretty good classification with a 2nd place and a 5th place. So right now we have very good classification. On the Super Prestige we are still in 2nd with Nibali. Primus Hoglic is the first one on Super Prestige. And again Jasper Steven and Edward Tunes in the top 10. And on teams of course since we have so many riders at the front, now we, um, we are at the first place of the World Tour classification and on Super Prestige as well, so yeah. On victories, we are at second place with 16 victories, Jumo Visma is the, the best one with 17, so we are very close to that. And yeah, this is the classification so far, so we got another month ahead of us. And yeah, let's go right into the classics now. And yeah guys, this is our lineup for today. Conde Corta, Alex Kirsch, Emil Lippins, Jacobo Mosca, Ryan Mullen, Tom Squins and our leader Jasper Steven. This is our guy for today again and of course he, he is our guy for the classics. We have Tom Squins who can be a help on the, the hills maybe. We'll see. But yeah, let's go. And here we are guys, start of the race and the uh, bad news, minus one day for Jasper Steven. But I think that's not too much impact on the stats as we can see, just minus one on three stats that are not very important for today. So let's see if we are in luck and uh, can survive with it really. And I, I think we can, so yeah. The other guy is again Ryan Mullen with the minus 4 and Jacobo Mosca with the minus 5 so I don't think there will be a big help today but oh well. And here we are guys, the first cobbles of the day. We are very well positioned with Steven at the head of the peloton, Squins as well, Kirsch at his wheel because he's the better man after Steven in terms of cobbles so he's going to try to follow him so that then he can protect him but yeah the guys are hanging on very well right now so just when the court is a bit behind and I not like I do not like that Squins as well but come on Squins and Squins is alone because Mosca has fallen so no one is protecting so I don't know what to do we'll see right now Lipin is giving everything to protect Steven so come on Lipin but yeah, so far so good. And here we are guys, 30 kilometers to left almost. And the, the peloton is starts to waking up a little bit. There were some breakaways. And uh, the, the rhythm is very high right now. Tom Squint is not able to hang on. I put them at the front to So that's to even will be more protected. But I'm seeing that it's not protected at all. So let's just change this and put coins protecting Steven really and there are some attacks but let's pause the game for a little bit let's protect Lippins you you done your, jo your job so 
it's good it's coins please protect thank you and yeah more attacks let's see who is at the front Ista Boaru and no one matters really Nico Denz and Campaner these ones matter Oliver Nassen Kaspar Asgreen so yeah 24 kilometers to go we need to to make some move really so let's put Jasper Steven on 80 and yeah we we cannot let anyone go really we need to be very careful here who is at the front who is at the front Nico Denz is at the front again another man that is danger but the quick step guys are chasing down so that's good for us Kaspar Asgreen right here uh, in front of us is a potential favorite for today but he's out of energy and Kurt Nielsen is attacking watch out Kurt Nielsen is attacking 20 kilometers to go Steven is very well positioned here at the front his energy is not the best but oh well and Postelberg now is attacking we are only left two cobble section really so yeah we need to make something I don't know what but I, I know that we need to to make a move very soon let's try here with Steven in 80 oh, no let's stop let's stop 29 guys at the front right now and uh, there are some very good sprinters here we cannot go at the sprint with him we cannot we cannot we cannot let them go with us to the sprint because like the likes of Brian Cocard and Van Popo we are very who are very good sprinters so yeah let's see 13 kilometers to go now we got a little climb here and maybe yeah maybe I will attack at that climb with Steven to trying to gain a little gap we'll see very well positioned now at the front of the peloton that's what I want almost 10 kilometers to go and uh, it's right here this uphill let's attack really come on come on Steven and it's done the breakaway is done let's try to follow Squints Squints follow Steven and Kirsch will try to oh it's not good Alex Kirsch, come on. But yeah, we, we, we caught the peloton off guard really, so we got a little advantage here. Let's try to rely here with coins at the front. Another couple section now. But we need to go with Steven. We need to go with Steven, really. We are just six kilometers to go. Alex Kirsch is right here with us. Let's try to protect Steven. 5 kilometers to go now, let's use the gels on everyone Squins is done really, I don't need him We are 15 seconds ahead of the peloton, they are coming very fast now What I'm going to do, let's sprint with Kirsch And it's, it's too early for Steven, 1 kilometer now, almost Yeah, 1 kilometer now, come on Steven uh, now it is one kilometer to go I'm sprinting with everyone but Alex Kirsch is going to win it? Is it really? Oh my god Alex Kirsch wins a, ahead of Jasper Steven on the sprint How can that is even possible really? Oh my god It's, it, it's the curse Yeah the curse that in the sprint they are all messed up in this game and Kirsch maintained the lead over Steven and Steven could not handle the the curves really and yeah we got third second and third place with a little attack we made a breakaway and therefore we are the winners and here it is guys Alex Kirsch it's the winner Jasper Steven second place Tom Squins and third all with the same time 18 seconds ahead of the rest of the people and yeah what a surprise win really what a surprise and yeah guys let me know in the comments maybe 
I should uh, upgrade the difficulty to hard because right now it's on normal and uh, in the classics we are very well done so far we we got so many victories I don't know if it's because of the difficulty or not but three guys at the front it's a bit too much I think but yeah the treble is ours first second and third place very good let's go now to the next classic and so guys here we are for the round this time we have Conde Court, Alex Kirsch, Leipins, Ryan Mullen, Tom Skuin, Jasper Steven and Edor Tun. So pretty much the same team except for Jacobo Mosca who is changed by Edor Tunes this time. So yeah, I think this time is a lot more cobble section throughout the stage or the race. And it's a sponsor objective, we need to get first place so let's try to do that. And here we are guys, start of the race, the round Van Vladeren, if that is the name of it. Steven with the, oh my god, really, I did just, oh no, fuck again. I just pressed the energy gel on Steven, no, fuck. I hate when this happens. And from all the riders, he has to be Steven, my god. But as I was saying, a zero race day for Steven, who has a plus one on cobble, so that is very good. But yeah, no energy gel for him, so let's hope we we don't need that. We'll see. Yeah, minus three for Tunes, Scoins and Mullen. Again, not the perfect, I, uh, not the perfect thing, but that's not that bad either. Let's try to focus on protecting Steven so that he can finish on the best way. So guys, we are still about 100 kilometers to the finish line, so plenty more stage to, to run really, plenty more things to happen and right now we had a little, little moment of tension of our team because the peloton was very high on the pace and it was hilly, it was cobble, so too much thing happens. Our riders suffered a little bit, but so far they are good. We have most of them with good energy, so that's good for now. So guys, 17 kilometers to go, we cut the breakaway right here and already there are more attacks coming in this big, big wall very steep hill our guys I think most of them are holding on but they are getting behind which is not good but yes Steven right now is good in terms of energy and Alex Kirsch as well so yeah maybe these will be our two guys but they are getting behind now that's not good come on come to the front please thank you and yeah only about 44 50 more or less riders at the peloton so the peloton is getting shorter by every hill that we pass by every cobble that we pass so yeah they are very riders getting behind and now here we are guys one of the biggest climbs that involves cobbles right here and we are about 55 kilometers ago so yeah there are still plenty of race to, to race really so yeah but this is the moment when things starts to shape up and yeah I I don't want to get blocked here with Steven so come on come on Steven Lipin is gone of course he cannot handle this pace and Alex Kirsch is hanging on for now so it's good to help uh, Steven down the line but we are getting behind again not ideal, 5 guys with us, 10 guys at the front, so Alex Kirsch you need to work, come on, you need to work to, to catch these guys, come on, this is the, what I was talking about, I did not want this to happen because it's so hard to get back to the group sometimes, but thankfully we got it, and yeah right now 22 guys at the front of the race, we have 2 guys, and uh, one of 
one of them are already out of energy and Steven is not capable of following the pace, I don't know why really. I, I'm at 19 of effort and it's very hard for him to to chase, to follow the, the pace, don't know why. And yeah, this is hill after hill, cobble section after cobble section, it's very hard and uh, we are feeling it with Steven, with his energy getting very low, if you're not careful. As you can see the yellow is it's very low almost my god seriously get behind of him oh my god now I need to work that's not what I wanted really but now I need to work come on we are behind six people at the front and we are behind this is not good at all at this at this pace we will not get energy in the finish line to win it really but we are approaching the, the front of the race come on Steven come on there are still two more big hills or three hills and one big cobble section before the flat finish and right now we are with Christoph and our energy is so low I don't think we can do it really guys Although it's it's on a zero race day, Steven is not feeling very well, I think. But yeah, come on, Steven, get to the front. I know you can't. I know you can do it. Come on, almost there. And Benut is with a a little lead right now with 20 seconds. So careful with that, guys. And Steven is almost out of yellow. I don't have the energy gel. I don't think I'm going to make it really. Oh god, no. This is it for us, guys. I think this is it. We are so close to the front of the race, but we, we couldn't catch them. So yeah, I try to save energy and try to, to reach them. I don't know how, but yeah. And so guys, here we are, the last kilometer of the race, and in the front they start sprinting. If Lampard is at the front, can you win it? And yeah, if Lampard with a great sprint is the winner of Ron Van Lederen, Seber Mark at second, Thiers Benut, Greg Van Avermaet, Bode Van Aert, and hopefully we come next at sixth place. And yeah, without any energy really not good at all not a good finish for us in this race really and so guys in the end the race didn't go as planned as we thought and the sixth place for Jaspers to even three minutes down of the winner Yves Lampard and yeah by far we did not accomplish the objective that uh, the sponsor proposed to us that was the first place but life goes on and let's now move to the next race and the next objective really and just a quick look the next objective is Paris Robe and again it's a first place thank god it is just a one star um, objective so it's not that important and uh, the one that we just rode is just an half of a star so not that important thank god really but yeah next we have Itzulia Basque Country or Volta País Vasco in, in Spain in Spain so yeah that will be for the next episode for now this is it for today i hope you like it really and i hope you you are enjoying this series don't forget to check out my new series with joan almeida the pro cyclist mode the portuguese young rider of the cuny quick step take a look at that because i know you you're going to like it and yeah this is it for today leave a like comment on what you thought subscribe of course and yeah stay safe bye bye